Hello. I just had a 10x Zoom meeting earlier with Uncle G pre-conference. I'm Ria and here are my 22 lessons learned. Lesson 1. Look for things that Uncle G is doing. Like that, they don't talk about to set seeds. To create a mood to get people ready to do something. Lesson 2. So look for that. What are they doing? What are they doing that? Lesson three. What are you coming for? What is your intention? Lesson four. Reset on it every time you go to another speaker. It's really important for you to reset yourself. New speaker, new moment, new thing. And you get back in present time. Lesson five. Why did Uncle G bring him up? Bring the speaker. What's the purpose of bringing him up? What can we learn from him? And then ask this question yourself. Not how does that not work for me, but instead, how could it work for me? That is a quality question you can ask yourself. How could this work for me? How could this help, help me? Lesson six, Uncle G says, he has never been a fan of the stock market because he cannot understand it. But he, he has always been a fan of Warren Buffett, his common sense. And somebody said to him, you're a real estate guy. Why do you study Warren Buffett? And Uncle G says, because he applies Warren Buffett's principles to real estate. I'm not going to buy stocks. I'm not going to do it. I don't think he does either by the way i don't think he buys stock i think he buys big big positions in companies lesson seven uncle g just take what he does and he applies it to the real estate game cash flow long-term appreciation sit and wait lesson eight buy when others are scared that's why they bought so much uh, real estate during covid Lesson nine, how can this work for me? And then remind yourself, remind yourself on each reset what your intention is. What are you trying to get out of this? Lesson 10, you need something planned. When this is over, what are you doing? Friday, when you're watching it, Friday, Saturday, and Saturday, Sunday. What are you doing next? Because if you don't do anything, if you have nothing else planned, it goes straight down. If you went into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and say, Hey, what am I doing next? And connect it to another dot. You will connect to the dot. L Lesson 11. The reason people fail is they do something and they go back to their other life and then it drops. Lesson 12. You can still make it by the way. If you just keep adding things over time, every year you do something. One day in the future, you're going to go up and down, go up and down, up and down, up and down. The way to stop this, says Uncle G, this up and down, is don't do the down. You have a connect to the next thing. Lesson 13. Keep connecting dots that pull it, pulls you forward. And it puts you in a situation where you feel like you're always doing something. And by the way, you should always be doing something. Lesson 14. You should be asking yourself when they come up, why did Grant grab this guy? Everybody's on this list is somebody he wanted to speak at this event. It is because the way she executed in the marketplace. And then... Why did she pick something that so many people would raise their hand and say, I want to buy that product? Lesson 15. Uncle G says, there is one question that he asked every speaker. One single reason why Uncle G brought him there. He just had, he just had to ask him 10 questions to get to the one. Lesson 16. If work does not work, you got to bounce to the next job. 
And everybody needs to learn how to do that. Lesson 17. Come to the conference with intention, but without pre-qualifying anyone. Show up for people you don't like. Get over your ideas. Lesson 18. Watch Uncle G controls the interview. Watch Uncle G do something professional that he does not like doing. Watch Uncle G control this powerful people. Lesson 19. Uncle G get the pitch every day. Hey man, I want to be your apprentice. Uncle G says, what am I supposed to start my day and make that decision? No video? What's in it for me? No here, I can do this for you? You guys got to fill in the pieces right. There's got to be a win-win. Lesson 20. Be omnipresent. Lesson 21. You can come tap into the data. If you can't afford a seat on the table, the card on capital, you can't afford the diamond tickets, no problem. Get in the room. Figure out how to get into this room and figure out how to get closer to the action and then stay connected. Lesson 22. Keep looking for new content. Keep looking to add something. Keep asking yourself throughout the growth conference, what is it I'm not seeing? What do I need to see that I'm not hearing? How can this work for me? So these are my 22 lessons learned. I hope you learned something. Tomorrow's growth conference. Take care. God bless.